Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I work as a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage your Azure Virtual Machines using Windows Admin Center. So there are basically two ways of doing that. The first one is you connect your Azure Virtual Machines to Windows Admin Center using a public IP address, which will then use the remote PowerShell port to manage that virtual machine. Uh, and the second one I'm going to show you is how you can use the Azure Network Adapter in Windows Server on your Windows Admin Center machine to build a point-to-side VPN connection and manage your Azure Virtual Machines without the need of a public IP address and without exposing uh, remote management ports to the internet. So check it out. Okay, so here we are in Windows Admin Center and you can see here, I only have my Windows Admin Center server gateway, uh, which I currently manage, uh, but I also have an Azure Virtual Machine, which I want to add um, to my Windows Admin Center management. And the Azure Virtual Machine does not, I don't wanna use the public IP address, I wanna use the private IP address. So if I go here to the Azure Virtual Machine, you can see I have a private IP address and now, if I want to add that into Windows Admin Center, obviously I will have a problem because I don't have a connection to that virtual machine on a private IP address. So if I ping that IP, you can see I don't get a response because my Windows Admin Center server runs on-prem and my Azure VM is in Azure and I don't have a side-to-side -side VPN. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a Azure network adapter to connect to that. So for that, I go to my Admin Center server and I go to networking. And here is where I basically manage uh, the network settings of that machine. So I could change IP addresses, DNS servers, uh, and so on. So you can see I have already a couple of adapters. But what I really want to do is I want to have a look at the Azure Network Adapter. So I click on Create or Add Network Adapter. You can see I can select the subscription I want to connect to. Then I choose the location or the Azure region. And then it gives me the virtual networks deployed in that region. And I like, only have one there. And you can see here, I already have the gateway configuration in there, if I have a gateway. Now I could generate, create that natural network adapter, but I'm gonna cancel that one because I already have created one. I'm just gonna go and click connect. And this, you can see here now, this creates a point to side VPN and basically connects me to that network. And if I now have a look at the ping, you can see here, now I can ping that machine running in Azure. So now I can also add that server to my management. So I'm gonna go add, and now with the latest versions of Windows Admin Center, you can basically scroll all the way down to add virtual machine. And then I can sign in to Azure, and this will help me basically just find my virtual machine. So I again, select the right subscription where my virtual machine is deployed. I'm gonna select the resource group, and then this will list the virtual machines in that resource group. And now I'm gonna select the right virtual machine. And it will now allow me to select which IP address I wanna connect. Now I can use the private IP address. So I'm gonna click add. And you can see here the server shows up. And if I click on this server, uh, I quickly need to enter the credentials for that specific server. And now if I click connect, I basically can manage that server as it would be in my network. So I don't need a side-to-side -side VPN connection. I don't need uh, any other setup. I don't need to assign a public IP address to my virtual machine, uh, open any management ports from the internet. I can just use a point-to-side VPN from the Windows Admin Center server. So this means that like normal servers in my on-prem network do not have access to that um, network but the Windows Admin Center server, because it has a point-to-site VPN connection, um, can access that server. Now, obviously I could also set up um, a point to, like Azure Network Adapter on all of my servers, uh, which is fine if I have a couple of them, but if I really have a larger network with more devices uh, and all of them need to access that Azure VM, a point-to-site VPN is probably, uh, a site-to-site -site VPN is probably a better option. However, I hope this helps you and shows you how you can actually manage your Azure Virtual Machine from your Windows Admin Center server, which is deployed on-prem. 
There's also an option where you can actually deploy Windows Admin Center in Azure. And I have a separate video on that, which I'm going to link below. I hope this was helpful and see you in the next one.